I think I did it wrong. Yeah, you did. You better do it again. If you're looking to have blockbuster movie night this summer with your family and friends, obviously you're going to want the biggest screen possible. Of course you can get that done with a big screen TV, although the bigger you get, the more expensive they get. And if you want to get one anywhere close to a projector size, you're going to be breaking the bank. Although I guess if you did that, they'd be 4K. But that aside, this right here is a budget native 1080p projector that's going to let you get a 100 plus inch screen without breaking the bank. Now instantly right off the bat, I'm not really impressed with the packaging. This is literally all I received, a carrying case with a barcode on it. I was expecting to be in some sort of box at least, but I guess they had to cut costs somewhere. Now the other thing I'm really surprised about is the actual size of the carrying case. I mean, look how small this is. My two hands basically cover it up and we're done. So the projector has to be smaller than the case that it's in. That's pretty insane, especially if it's actually native 1080p like they claim. Along with all those claims, we also have claims that this has a 6,000 to 1 contrast ratio, as well as a 100 ANSI brightness rating, which I'm not sure what an ANSI is, but it is brighter than 5,000 lumens, which already sounds pretty bright, so that's pretty good, especially in the small form factor. Now, the case is actually very nice, feels padded up, definitely going to protect things. Let's unzip it. Now the other thing about this, I'm not really sure about the brand name, Video Cars or Chars, I'm not sure what it is, but they need to change that if they want to hit the big market. Mm, okay, a very nice, pretty standard carrying case. Inside the box I have a user manual, a remote control to control everything, and it does require two AAA batteries that aren't included. But what is included is a power brick, a composite 3.5mm cable, <laughs> a composite cable, <laughs> okay. And even an HDMI cable, which is always nice to see. And then we have the projector itself, which as you can tell, they were actually right. I can cover it with one hand. Pretty impressive. Now what's crazy is every other projector I've looked at has been at least two times bigger than this. And this is pretty impressive. It's actually native 1080p. I mean, that's the sheer size of this thing. This is definitely a very portable projector. It's crazy. Over on the front we do have a glass lens, not plastic, so they didn't cut costs there and this way it's not going to deform your picture over time. We do have an IR sensor right here for the remote control. Around the lens we do have a focus adjuster so you can get a nice clear picture no matter where you put the projector. Down on the bottom we do have four rubberized feet to keep the projector in place, although we also have a quarter inch thread to attach a tripod to it. Over on the right side not much to see other than some vents for the fans. Over on the left side we have some more vents for the fans along with the inputs. We're looking at a USB Type-C port, a micro SD card slot, an HDMI port, AV input, headphone jack for external speakers, a USB-A port, as well as the DC power adapter port. It looks like they did have some trouble trying to get a smooth cut for this power port. Over on the back we have another infrared sensor for the remote control along with a speaker grill for audio. And then on top we have a power button, no other buttons to be found, along with a keystone adjustment to adjust the angle depending on how the projector is slanted. Now something I always find weird about all these projectors is they always advertise 3D support. Now I guess you can feed 3D footage to the projector, but you're not going to be getting a 3D video from the projector when you try to watch it. So put your glasses away. Now as you can see, it's a very simple projector, and if this is actually 1080p quality, I'm going to be severely impressed because the price is right, the size is right, I mean the build quality is all plastic, but you know, it actually feels pretty good for what it is, and really, I mean, I guess it is the future, so they could probably compact it down to the size. Pretty sure we're going to have 4K projectors this size too, probably for the same price. Now one thing I am noticing about this projector right off the bat, which is probably because of the size, is you need the remote control in order to control this thing because there's no button controls on the projector itself, which as long as you don't lose the remote control, that's all fine and dandy. But if you lose the remote control, you're just out of luck, I guess. You can turn it on and turn it off, but that's really it. But looking at the remote control, it's very simple. We have a power button, a mute button, pause and play, rewind, fast forward, up, down, left, right, OK, back, menu, source, volume, up and down. So it's a very simple remote, and I'm sure it works fine. So now that we got some power, we do see the power button flashing red and blue lights. I'm not sure why it was flashing blue. Now it's just solid red. That would make more sense since it's off. But let's turn it on with the remote. You know what I just remembered? There's no lens cap for this thing. Okay, it did turn on, the fan is going. It took a little bit for it to turn on, so it's a little bit on the slow side, although we are on now. And just don't look into the lens, because you'll go blind. Didn't your mom tell you that? Now granted, this thing just powered on, but let's see how loud it actually is. As you can see, it only hit 47 decibels of noise volume, so that's actually really quiet as far as projectors go. And you know, as long as you have some music going and maybe some external speakers, you probably won't be able to hear it. But that's always one of the downsides of projectors, the loud fan, but this is actually pretty quiet. 
All right, so now that we got the projector all set up, literally just plug in the power cable, let's go actually get this thing set up with a projection screen because that's the way you're gonna get the best picture quality. And let's see if it's actually full 1080p HD and if it's actually worth your money. Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed that message from our sponsor, but now it's time to get down to brass tacks. My thoughts on this projector. I got it up to about a 100 inch display and by golly, I'm impressed. I was expecting to look all blurry, all distorted, all terrible, but I was actually surprised, in a good way. Now let me get this out of the way, I have had other 1080p projectors that were better quality, although those were at least four times the price of this one. Now this one coming in at about $150, I'm gonna say the thing that I always hate when people say, it's very good for the price. Uh, the uh, crust like really soggy. Yeah, the crust does feel soggy throughout. Now when I say that, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It's actually very good. I'm actually insanely impressed on how good it actually is. But like I said, if you get one that's like five times the price, obviously you're gonna get a bit better quality and it's, gonna be better but I don't think it's that much better to be perfectly honest I mean I guess technology advanced enough to make this one almost as good as the more expensive ones and this one's tiny and portable it's really crazy how they actually did it so when I first turn it on it does take about 10 seconds to power on go to the splash screen and remember without the remote you can't really do anything with the projector but the good news is once you have it set to HDMI it's just gonna turn on right away to HDMI every time you power it on and that way you don't need to have the remote with you so that's very cool although you won't be able to adjust the volume and adjust the settings so make sure you guys take care of that and leave it to something that you're gonna want if you happen to not want to carry the remote around with you now as far as the volume does go even at max volume of 100 it is very quiet it maxes out around 80 decibels in an action movie so that's not very good at all although it is clear and it is very good if you're just alone in your room and just watching TV I guess but to be fair I would definitely plug in an external speaker to get the best audio quality even step up to a surround sound setup if you really want to although if you're getting a projector this cheap you might not want to do that but still if you already have it go for it but even though the audio volume is very low it is loud enough to drown out the very little 45 decibel fan noise which is pretty much nothing like you can't really hear it you can definitely not hear it at all when the speakers are on but without the speakers on it's still very quiet it's just like a little a bit of a hiss so that's another thing I'm really impressed with because those bigger more expensive 1080p projectors that I've used they're a lot louder now moving on to picture quality during the day obviously you're not gonna be getting the best picture quality because it is gonna be washed out but you can get away with it if you have no other way to make your room dark until nighttime but it's not very enjoyable you might want to just stick to your TV during the day although once you turn the lights off mm, it's actually very impressive video quality the picture is nice and clear, nice and crisp. Now around the edges, it does get a little bit blurry and you really start to notice it if there's text around the borders. As you can see right here, the text is having a little bit of a ghosting problem and it doesn't look that great. Although, you know, from a normal viewing distance, it's not really that noticeable. And it's definitely good enough to get you by because for the most part, you're gonna be looking right in the center of the screen and you're not gonna really notice. Now, although the video quality is really good and a lot better than I was expecting in any sort of imagination of mine, when it comes to skin tones, it is a bit high when it comes to red, although you can adjust and make it cooler adjust each color individually and make it to your liking so that's not really too big of a deal now I know what you're probably wondering can you play video games on this thing and of course you can you can plug in your Xbox plug in your PlayStation and play video games all you want on the big screen but is it good it's it's okay I mean you could definitely get by doing it especially if you're doing single player but if you're trying to be super competitive online playing Fortnite or Call of Duty or something you might not get the best experience because you're gonna have a little bit more latency than a TV or especially a monitor but, you know, you can get away with it if you're not being super competitive and, like, trying to actually try hard. But, of course, if you're trying to be the top dog, go through the leagues and all that good stuff, you're going to want a monitor. Of course. We all know that. But if you want to play on the big screen, it's definitely doable. I was able to do it. With all that being said, I'm really liking this projector, but there is one really big problem, which is actually really easy to fix, and that is the power cable is extremely short. Like, I barely had it set up anywhere, really. It was, like, just right by the wall, center in the room, and the cable wasn't long enough to reach the outlet. 
it was barely long enough to reach for the power strip. I had to put a box up, get it elevated, put it on the tripod. Like, it was a nightmare, so you're definitely gonna want an extension cord pretty much in 99% of scenarios. I'm not sure what they were thinking because I can't really think of an opportunity to plug this in with that little bit of cable, like anywhere. In my mind, I'm like, yo, the outlet is always too far away. There's no way, it's impossible. So, extension cord is definitely needed. But other than that, I mean, the picture quality was surprisingly good. Pair it with a speaker, get an extension cord, and for that low, low price of $150 for a native 1080p 60 hertz projector in a small compact size that has a quiet fan, I don't think you can beat it. And I would definitely recommend it if you're looking to get a big screen on a budget.